Because I genuinely like wanted to quit competing after fucking Saturday. It was very, very disheartening. And the biggest irony is I have a bunch of people who are saying, nobody was bullying you. This dude uploads a video titled, My I, me having a mental breakdown, and then tells me that I wasn't getting bullied. And it's like, uh, dog? You just made a video on how I had a mental breakdown, and you're telling me that nobody is fucking with me or bullying me? Like, are you serious right now? <laughs> what is... What is fucking wrong with you? I'm literally not even being that mean. You guys are actually fucking gremlins. That's literally pathetic. So fuck off. You're actually just a shitty human being, and I hope either you learn how to have some kind of empathy or be a functioning human, or that you pave that price for that food. I mean, it's just, if you have nothing better to do with your time than to shit on someone who's having an obviously hard time. Also, you know what? I'm going to make people feel like shit. Can you fuck off? My dad had a fucking stroke that week. And I'm obviously not in a good mindset. And then you make a video on me having a mental breakdown when my dad's in the fucking hospital having a stroke. Like, fuck off, bro. These people, like, don't think about what actually goes on in other people's lives. And it's so fucking like disgusting my dad literally had a fucking stroke not even being that mean. You guys are actually fucking gremlins. Also, you know what? I'm gonna make you feel like shit. You have nothing going for you in your life. I'm sorry, but you're a pathetic human being. And you're only here to try to feed off of me being upset because you have nothing else going for you. And honestly, that's pathetic. That's literally pathetic. So fuck off. You're actually just a shitty human being, and I hope either you learn how to have some kind of empathy or be a functioning human, or that you pay for that price for the rest of your life. Hey, your dad. I mean, it's fine. I'm just taking care of him. But it's like I was under like like an extraordinary amount of duress, and then this fucking jagas like makes videos on me. It's so stupid. It's like the amount of the lack of empathy you have to have to do that is ridiculous. I'm sorry, Vincent. I'm sorry to hear that. It's like literally the grossest thing I've ever seen. I hope it ain't severe. Um, his left side of his body's kind of fucked right now. We'll see. Well, he's trying to do physical therapy to get some range of motion back. We'll see how it. We'll see how it uh, goes. But he also has cancer, and so that makes it very, very. It's a very complicated situation that's not very easy to deal with, and it's not easy on me mentally either. And guess what? I didn't fucking drop out. And then some shit makes me feel like that. It's like, what? It's like the fact that people think it's okay to treat people like that is like genuinely very disgusting. To me. It's so frustrating, man. It's like I lose one out of ten sets and this happens and everyone just goes crazy and I can't take the pressure anymore, dude. It's like one out of ten sets you lose and everyone just goes crazy. It's very hard to do it. I don't know what to do. It's hard not to put a level of pressure on yourself, man. Yes! Now he's freaking out. He's going to get a million subs and I get that you're not supposed I to fucking care. fucking haven't seen so him like two years, dude. I can do I don't this still. Do this right I now, can man. still be the best. Gotta love how he doesn't even say GG's afterwards. Gotta love him, man.
the same guy who fucking discredited me every single online win I had. Just every single online win Zane had is just online, and now he's crying over it and making a spectacle. It's just fucking, it's just frustrating, man. It just hurts. Literally, all of you came in from Hbox's chat and talked about how I'm being weird. Every time you lost, I just give him motivation. I'm nice to him every single time. 